Hi, my name is Haley, and welcome to another video that is on my passion time. And today, my passion project is what are some popular Italian dishes or recipes. And so I have three recipes here, here on my website. And the first one is called Chicken Penne Italiano, which is like a penne pasta with chicken and a bunch of other things. And I'm going to list the ingredients and the directions. And then I have three um, different recipes. So the first recipe is pasta, which is a known Italian food. And so the, the ingredients you'll need is eight ounces of dry penne pasta, uh, one tablespoon of cornstarch. You need one 15 ounce of canned um, chicken broth. Uh, you also need um, two tablespoons of olive oil, one tablespoon of garlic uh, minced, four skinless ch chicken breasts cut into halves, well, halves cut into cubes. Um, and then there is, okay, so the next step is one tablespoon of garlic that is minced, four skinless, oh wait, I just said that, <laughs> one onion sliced, one half green bell pepper seeded and thinly sliced, and then the same thing, one half uh, with red bell, red bell peppers, uh, seeded and thinly sliced. And then there is one 16 ounce uh, of canned diced tomatoes. And then, let's see. Oh, one teaspoon of dried oregano, oregano. one teaspoon of dried basil, um, one fourth cup of medium dry um, white wine, one half cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, which those are all the ingredients. And next we are going to, I'm going to explain the directions, which is just right, in, right here in front on my website. So there are directions. The first step, the first direction is bring a, a large pot of lightly salted water to boil, to a boil. Add the penne pasta and cook until al, al dente, around eight to 10 minutes. Drain um, and reserve pasta. Uh, the next step is number two, uh, whisk the cornstarch and chicken broth together in a bowl until smooth, set aside until meat. Um, and then the third and final direction, I think, let's see, yeah, the final direction is heat the olive oil in a skillet over medium heat, add the garlic and chicken, stir and cook until the chicken is no longer pink and juices run clear. About 10 minutes, stir the onion and green red pepper, the green and red peppers, Cook until tender for about five minutes. Stir in the tomatoes. Um, stir in the tomatoes and simmer for 10 minutes. Um, pour the chicken broth mixture and wine if desired. The season and, <laughs> and season oregano and basil. Stir in the cooked pasta and simmer over medium heat until thoroughly heated through about uh, five minutes. Serve garnish with parma serve garnish with Parmesan cheese. So you can put it on top if you want it. Um, and then, so that was the chicken penne italiano. The next one is um, another Italian, a popular Italian food that I'm sure a lot of people have had before. Most, almost everybody, and almost everybody love it, loves it. So it's pita pizza. P 
pizza. I mean, pizza. That's good. Um, uh, so it's like pizza with pita um, bread. And so the f you need, uh, so the first in the ingredients are you need one pita bread that's round. So like you don't want square or triangle, not that there is triangle, um, but you want it to be round. So like a pizza uh, bread. And then you want to, you want one teaspoon of olive oil, three tablespoons of pizza sauce, one half cup of shredded mozzarella cheese, one fourth cup of sliced crimini mushrooms, and one eighth teaspoon of garlic salt. Um, so those are all the ingredients. Obviously, it's a lot, like a lot less than the chicken penne sauce, I mean, uh, pasta. Um, and so next we are going to do the directions. So the directions are pretty simple. Uh, one, you need to preheat grill for medium high heat. Uh, two, spread the side, spread one side of the pita with olive oil and pasta sauce, top with cheese and mushrooms, and season with garlic salt. Um, lightly oil grill grated pizza great <laughs> um place pita pizza on grill cover and cook until cheese completely melts for about five minutes um next well that was the pita pizza which i recommend like both because they like look and sound really good um I actually have pictures on my website, but I still need to do that. <laughs> um, and the next and final um, uh, recipe so far on my website is a sweet one. It's white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. I mean, that sounds amazing. Um, so, you will need one cup of chocolate cookie crumbs, so like really just crumbs of Oreo, which is what it sounds, um, three teaspoons of white sugar, one fourth cup of butter melted, that is melted, one ten ounce package of frozen raspberries, uh, two tablespoons of white sugar and you will need two teaspoons of cornstarch, one half cup of water, uh, two cups of white chocolate chips because obviously it's white chocolate in there, um, and then one half cup of half and half cream. Uh, half and half is like to me basically milk but I think I would just go with half and half because I'm not really sure how um, they're different or if they're the same or if like they have different things to where it only half and half works. So I would just go with half and half. And then... <laughs> you need one eight ounce packages packages of cream cheese softened and then one half cup of white sugar and then you need three eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Um, the directions to make this is one, in a medium bowl mix together cookie crumbs, three tablespoons of sugar, and melted butter. Press mixture into the bottom of a nine inch spring form pan. So when I put the picture on here, which is which will be in like within tomorrow or something, um, there will be, it'll show a picture and at the bottom, you can see that there is like cookie crumbs and like buttery um, sugar stuff. And so that means that you need to like get something 
and you need to push it down. Uh, you push that all down to the very bottom. And then you uh, will, so the second step is in a saucepan, combine raspberries, two tablespoons of sugar, corn, cornstarch, and water. Bring to a boil and continue boiling five minutes or until sauce is thick. Strain sauce through a mesh, a mesh strainer and remove seeds. The third step is to let's see. Oh, preheat your oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit, 165 degrees Celsius, in a metal bowl or over a pan of simmering water. Melt white chocolate chips and with half and half, stirring occasionally until smooth. So like, make sure everything's all together and that there's no more like chunks of white chocolate, um, of white chocolate. And so the fourth step is in a large bowl, mix together cream cheese, um, one half cup of sugar until it's smooth. So once again, so yeah. And then you will beat the eggs one at a time, blend in vanilla and melted white chocolate, pour half and half batter over crust. Spoon three tablespoons of raspberry sauce over batter. Pour remaining cheesecake batter into a pan and again spoon. Three tablespoons of raspberry sauce over the top, uh, swirl batter with the tip of a knife to create a marble effect so that it's just kind of really cool looking. And then the last step is bake for 55 to 60 minutes or 55 minutes to an hour or until filling is set. Cool over with plastic wrap and refrigerate for eight hours before removing from pan. Uh, stir the remain, serve with remaining raspberry sauce on the top. Um, and, and so, And so that is the last recipe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to be adding more um, recipes to my website, so uh, stay tuned. And I am going to leave a link in the description to my website. Uh, thank you guys. For